Hey, how's it going? I'm looking forward to tomorrow going to the barber. I have an appointment, and they're going to reshave the sides, and I'm going to have them. Uh, I'm going to have her trim this up in some way that it. I want to keep the length as much as I can, but have it actually be some decent shape and look a little more tamed and uh, not look so much like a dust brush hanging off my chin, right? <laughs> anyway, have you ever experienced, are you experienced? Think of uh, Jimi Hendrix. Um, when you're having a nightmare of some sort, or you're having a dream and then something evil occurs in front of you in the dream. You'll hear a sound, this low rumbling sound. It's like the sound of terror. It's the only way I know how to put it. It's similar to the sound sometimes like when you're yawning. I mean, have you ever had this rumbling sound when you're yawning? Right? Maybe it's an inner ear kind of sound. I don't know. But take that sound and multiply it by like 20. And that's what, what I hear when there's something terrifying in a dream. Oh, it's the sound of pure evil, right? Um, and sometimes if I'm really, really tired, but the dream wakes me up because of that, I'll be at risk of... Okay, sometimes what happens to me and this doesn't happen to that many people, but sometimes that chemical that goes off in your body that keeps you from sleepwalking, it sort of paralyzes you so you don't sleepwalk. Sometimes, if I'm really tired, that will go off without, while I'm still awake. So I'm suddenly paralyzed. And if that chemical can go off, and I've just had a nightmare, I can wake up, but then suddenly... I'll be paralyzed, and then that same evil sound, the, the sound of pure evil, the sound of terror, will happen, and it will take over all sound. Um, just wondering if that's ever happened to any of you. I try looking it up, and, and all I can find are, you know, articles talking about people just generally at night, not when they're sleeping, but at night, hearing a low rumbling sound. And I, I read about... Uh, People who have breathing problems when they're sleeping. But this isn't, this doesn't line up with that. So I don't really know the right way to look that up. Um, have you ever experienced that? Anyway, before I made this video, I was on Facebook and... Man, there are some... There are some gay men that just, they want to act like little bitchy queens and somehow want to be respected for it. And for some reason, everyone in the gay community is just supposed to accept that kind of, that kind of attitude. It's, it's really annoying where, where someone can just They put on the, if you're not for me, you're against me kind of mindset. And, man, I don't, I don't know how to really describe it, but it's just like, when, it, when, it, when the whole, you better listen to me, when that sort of attitude can even show in text posts, you know it's bad, right? So, I've never understood why that kind of behavior is, has been considered acceptable. It, it, people don't like it when women do it. Why would people like it when men do it? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm just rambling. So, don't really have much more to say right now. So, a banana.